Shiver me timbers, what is this creature from the abyss? We got uh, it! Uh, uh, let's take the net off. Sea monster! It's a mermaid! Hi, I'm Shelly from the Abyss. Nice to meet you. Captain Frederick Redmayne at your service. Welcome aboard the Rusty Cutlass. And here's my crew, Periwinkle. Our trusty cook, Cerberus Loin. Mm. Our youngest buccaneer, Little Billy. Hello! Ah. So, should we take care of it now? Uh. <laughs> All right, what are we going to do with her? I think Miss Shelley should stay with us. I say we get rid of her. We don't need a monster on board. Mm -hmm. Who knows what sorcery and misfortune these creatures could bring. But wouldn't it be swell to learn about mermaids? We'd finally find out if the legends are true. And we'll be doomed if they are. Mm -hmm. That's a good point, Sir Loin. We don't have any mermaid food on board. Oh, don't concern yourselves with that. I can feed myself from the treasures from the depths. Treasures, you say? What I meant was... We just so happen to be looking for treasures ourselves, but our last endeavours haven't been as successful as I'd hoped. And what do we make of the figurehead? She's on board, but not on board enough to get her smited by the gods. I don't think Miss Shelley would like it up there. I sure didn't. How about we make journey together instead? I'm heading for the Diamond Cove. The mythical Diamond Cove? What is it? A remote and legendary bay, forgotten by time. Let's set sail immediately. This all started with a ship called the Black Winter. They say the fierce captain of the Black Winter went there right after pillaging a whole region. And no one, no one has ever seen the Diamond Cove since. Gad, Zooks, what a fantastic story, Mr. Winkle. But this might just be an old legend. Mermaids always bring good luck. I can bring you straight to the Diamond Cove. Set course for the Diamond Cove. But that's not even the whole story. Ooh. Let me tell you about just after the captain. <laughs> yes, I can see them, but I can't hear them. See if you can make out what they're saying.
Hoist the mizzen.